A sad story, though, to get things started. One of those stunners that came out of the blue yesterday afternoon, just before we started PFTPM, Vincent Jackson, a great receiver, second-round pick in 2005, spent time with the Chargers and then the final five seasons of his career with the Buccaneers, found dead at the age of 38 in a hotel in Florida. No signs of trauma, investigation ongoing as to the cause of death. Just an absolute stunner, Shireen. Uh, I, I, uh, I, it, it, I mean, he's 38 years old, and... Miles Simmons and I were talking about this yesterday. I mean, death is all around us with the pandemic and everything else, but you, it's impossible to get used to it. And I think we get to a point where we just brace for whatever's next because it seems like there's always something else that's coming around the corner that that's just going to smack us in the face. And uh, Vincent Jackson, the latest example of that. Yeah, and I think when you see the 38, Mike, that's what really hits you. This guy was so young and had so much of his life yet left and uh, it, it's unfortunate whatever happened to Vincent Jackson but it is a stunner whenever you see somebody this young uh, die at that age it's just it, it's incredible and uh, you know I think most people uh, even this generation remembers Vincent Jackson and, and what he did with the Chargers in the Bucks and just an outstanding receiver for a long time took a little bit to get going in his career but boy once he did Mike three-time Pro Bowler, and he was really a good player, a really, really good player. And you just see by the outpouring from everybody in the community how much he meant, especially that Tampa Bay community, uh, to Mike and how much good he had done in his life, which I said I think speaks more to the person uh, than, than what what you do on the field that you're going to be remembered by. And I think it says a lot about Vincent Jackson that that's what people are remembering him by today. Every team has one nominee per year for the NFL Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. Vincent Jackson arrived in Tampa Bay in 2012. Each of the four seasons after that that he was with the team, 13, 14, 15, 16, he was the nominee. Think of how quickly you establish your presence from a charitable standpoint. First year there, yeah, it's your first year there. You're not going to you're not going to yeah. do so much your first year there that you're the Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year nominee. But each of the next four, that was the individual who received that designation from the Buccaneers organization. And the Buccaneers issued a statement yesterday as well regarding the passing of Vincent Jackson. And there was a flood of tweets from various teammates, executives, et cetera, who had been with Vincent Jackson. It really wasn't all that long ago. He's a member of this Buccaneers team. I remember when Mike Evans was drafted in 2014. Between Evans and Jackson, one of the top receiving duos in the NFL, Shereen, right out of the gates. It was, and you saw you know, Mike Evans tweet, and I honestly for a second forgot that they had played together because it it's, doesn't seem like Mike Evans is that far into his career. And, and then you start going back, you're like, Boy, you know, Evans has played for a while. I played. I mean, he re didn't officially retire till 2018. It was a couple years before that that he last played. But, you know, this is a guy who you truly remember of, of how good he was on the field. I go back, Mike, to the 2007 playoffs when he was with the Chargers. That was the Chargers' best chance with Phillip Rivers to go to the Super Bowl. And it's unfortunate that LaDainian Tomlinson got hurt in the postseason but Vincent Jackson, in those three playoff games that year, he carried them more than, than the banged-up LT did. He had 114 yards and a touchdown in the first playoff game against Tennessee. The next week against Indianapolis, seven catches for 93 yards and a touchdown. Then he came back. He kept him in the game against New England, the, NFC, the AFC Championship game. He had six catches for 93 yards, and, and you have that memory of LT standing over there on the sidelines injured with the parka on and the hoodie over his head, and Vincent Jackson was doing everything he could to try to make up for the loss of LT and just was outstanding in that postseason. And I, I do remember that run. I covered a couple of those games, and Vincent Jackson was incredible that year in that playoff run. And you think back to 2014, what they had at the skill position, specifically receiver and tight end. The Buccaneers had Mike Evans, first round pick, six foot five. Vincent Jackson, six foot five. Tight end Austin Safari and Jenkins, who never really worked out, but there was a ton of promise there, six foot five. And the quarterback Mike Lennon was six foot seven. They, they had some very tall guys 
in that window of time. Now, obviously, Jameis Winston came along in 2015 as a first overall pick in the draft. But I, I, I remember now, and, and, you know, the years go by so quickly with the NFL, and every team seems to have a completely different makeup year in and year out. But it kind of comes back to you as you remember it and think through it that they they had those three really big targets going into 2014, and Vincent Jackson still had plenty of gas in the tank still and and was a great mentor for a guy like a Mike Evans and it, it just wasn't that long ago that Jackson was yeah. playing and yeah. playing at a high level in the NFL and we extend our condolences obviously to the family friends teammates it it just it just is another tragedy in the broader NFL community and uh, there's tragedies all around us that it just everywhere you turn whether it's NFL or beyond the NFL and we're just trying to get through life one day at a time as we we await the broader cloud of of the pandemic to go away. It just it just has just been a strange time, as strange a time as I can ever remember. And and situations like this just kind of underscore how strange these times are. And you think about, Mike, all the people we've lost over the last couple of weeks with Marty Schottenheimer and you go back to Therese. Uh, Paler, who worked for the Kansas City Star and most recently with Yahoo Sports, and he was in his 30s, went to sleep and didn't wake up. And and now we have another guy in his 30s that was significant to the NFL now <clears throat> who's also gone. And it's just been a sad uh, couple weeks since the Super Bowl ended that, that we've had some of these deaths, Mike. And, and hopefully this is the last one. Let's not have any more of these. I, I hate starting a show like this because it's such a downer. Um, but but it's nice to remember Vincent Jackson and all the great things he did on and off the field. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.